Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Yes? Okay. Adding the two numbers, right? Okay. And um, yeah, it had some issue and you know, we had saved it. Correct? Okay. So let's look into it. Um, yeah. Here is our edition that we had saved yesterday. Okay, let me go to file and then open test that is edition and then click on open okay yeah Okay then, so this was the program that we were, you know, trying to execute yesterday and yeah, let me uh, disable the, see and if it is like, you know, the font is very small, if you are unable to view it, okay, you got to click on the zoom button which is on the right corner of your screen, okay, sorry, left corner, on the left uh, top corner of your screen, I think there is something called as zoom, right? So you got to click on the zoom so that you know you can view my screen closely. Clear everybody? If there is any like you know font is small and all that because I have increased the font if still uh, it is not clear you try to uh, zoom the window so that you know it will be more clear to you. Alright everybody? Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, try to find the error in this program. Let me execute it once, okay, and you know, you are able to remember then what was the actual problem. See, we are entering our first number as 10, alright, second number is entered as 20, and do you see we are getting the result as 10 and 20, okay, instead of giving us 30, it is trying to concatenate and you know it is showing that it is 10 and 20. Now I click on OK button. Okay. Let's try to find what is a problem over here. Okay. Now whenever you come across this kind of programs. Okay. So whenever you come across this kind of programs. Alright. Then how do you debug the errors? Now, if writing a program is one skill that you should be knowing, this is also another skill on which you should have the practice. Okay, debugging the errors or debugging the programs to find the errors. Because even you take, you know, like 10 years experience people or, you know, anybody, everybody will write a program, but definitely it will have one or the other error. 
okay so you should uh, be efficient enough all right to find the error in the program and there are you know little bit of small techniques over there let's try to find that so there is one thing that is you know the debug over here do you see file edit view insert animation resources and then we have the debug correct and in the debug we have something called as step into and another is insert or remove the breakpoint okay so basically this step into that is f11 it is going to help us execute step by step means one line will be executed at once okay insert or remove breakpoint means let's say i have inserted a breakpoint here on the line number 12 it means that it is going to execute till line number 12 okay and then it is going to wait for my instruction further all right this breakpoint means if i put a breakpoint here on the line number 12 it means that it is going to wait for me i mean wait for my instruction when it executes up to line number 12 and if i say run it is going to run if i say next step it is going to go next step right so this is basically a breakpoint and then we have another feature in this debug that is step into okay step into means it is going to execute one line at a time so using these two we can try to debug the program okay and there is another um, window which we call it as a debug viewer okay we have a window called as debug viewer wherein you know the variables that we have created okay we have the variable that is created over here and we are going to have a look at the variable okay fine now let's try to execute this and then try to follow with it okay what i will do is i will execute it line by line and let's see where exactly the error is occurring is it in the line number 5 8 9 or you know 12 or 15 or 16 where exactly the error is occurring we got to find out okay one second i think there is some message from ashu ke okay fine so let's start executing step by step and we go to the debug over here and then f11 okay click on the okay button so do you see here it has executed up to line number 8 means it has executed the line number 5 now let's see what is happening in the debug viewer okay after the line number 5 which is our first statement it has got executed we see that the first number second number and then sum with the empty value over here is created means there is no value that is present in the variable just three variables are created because we have mentioned here dim v first number v second number and then v sum okay then next again i go to i can go to debug and then you know press from there or i can simply say f11 key from my keyboard i can press on the f11 key from my keyboard so it is asking me to enter the first number i enter it click on okay button okay and then next again it is waiting on line number 9 for my instruction okay so again i press on f11 and then i say 20 click on okay so do you see here in the debug viewer we have the variables first number is 10 second number is 20 and then the v sum is empty do you see just now i entered 10 so which is entered here in the first number and then 20 is stored here in the second number 
our v sum is still empty okay so now my cursor is waiting here on the line number 12 for my instruction then again i press on the f11 i ask it to continue okay so do you see here 10 and 20 it means what it is accepting the number properly okay 10 and 20 both the numbers are accepted properly till here there is no problem where is the problem on the line number 12 okay when it is adding the two numbers there is some problem over here due to which you know it is not adding properly clear everybody so is it clear you know how to debug so go step by step whenever there is an error okay and you will be able to locate on which line exactly the error is happening by observing this kind of variables okay fine now I have got to know that you know that there is some problem in the line number 12 so now I got to find a solution for this okay yes exactly so do you see here both of them are in the double quotes it means that these 10 and 20 these values are being treated as strings and not as the numbers okay these are being treated as strings and not as the numbers okay so what is the solution now we got to convert this first number and second number into the integer let's see how to convert it I just click on the stop we can convert it directly int int of first number and then again integer value of the second number so what is this going to do it is converting the variable the value which is present in the variable into the integer okay do you see here okay yeah now let's try to execute and see but um, yeah see if I execute like this okay first I'll execute and then I'll you know I'll show it in other way click on okay then I press on F11 enter F11 enter then F11 okay so do you observe the problem is solved it is showing me the value that is 30 here and it is printing the sum we got 30 means the issue is resolved so what exactly is happening here you want to see it let me show it to you what I will do is instead of you know converting the integer directly I will make it as a separate step so that you know you are able to observe what exactly is happening over here okay I'll say equal to and then on the next line okay so do you see here then now let's click on the run okay not on the run but the debug mode F11 okay click on OK button so F11 10 F11 20 okay just observe here all right I'm executing this line number 12 do you see what happened it has converted this 10 which is uh, which was in the double quote the string into the integer okay F11 and then F11 30 do you see the problem is solved okay is it clear everybody so I need not you know separately convert like this on the different lines if I can convert here directly this is sufficient okay fine now shall I give you some more examples will you solve it alright okay so to add the two numbers then I want you to subtract the numbers and get the difference between them I want you to multiply then I want you to divide them and also I want you to find the remainder okay this is what I want you to do means in other words So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.